In today's quick video, we're going to take a look at a resource that tons of iOS developers, including myself, have been using for Objective-C block syntax. It's a pretty funny website, and before we jump into things, drop a drop it on like down below, hit subscribe if you're new here, almost at 75,000 subs, which is still crazy in my head. That all being said, we're going to create a brand new project here as an example. We'll stick with the app template, and I'll just call this something. And we're going to do something that we rarely do on this channel. We're going to change the language to Objective-C. Ooh, scary. So we'll stick with Objective-C. We'll toss it onto our desktop here. And we're not going to actually be writing a whole lot of code. But what I am going to do is showcase a resource. So similar to Swift, Objective-C has a notion of closures uh, that we used to call blocks. And for those of you that are familiar with some of the larger tech companies, lots of companies are still using uh, Objective C. So th companies like Google, Facebook, Amazon, you know, Microsoft, et cetera, et cetera. So it's important to know Objective C. So how the heck do you write out a block or a closure in Objective C? Well, honestly, it beats me. Ten years later, I still don't know what the heck the syntax is. So thank the Lord that there's a website called Gosh Darn Block Syntax.com. And this is actually the PC version of this URL. There is a more fun version. But this website basically shows you the common types of this syntax. And if you just look at it, you'll quickly realize why this website exists. And it's pretty funny that it exists. Uh, the reason is that the syntax is ridiculous to remember. So let's say we wanted to have a property, be it you know public or private, on a class where we have a block which specifies a return type. It specifies the name of the actual block. So this is like a type alias for Swift closures, if you are familiar with only Swift. And then we can also have the parameter types here. Who on earth knows this syntax by heart? Perhaps people that work with blocks in Objective-C a lot. Personally speaking, I know that, you know, parameters for properties, for local variables, I can remember. But when you get into the realm of, you know, blocks inside of blocks or arguments to a method, things get really confusing really fast. So we're gonna actually just copy and paste this into Xcode. I'll show a quick example and we'll wrap up this super quick video there. I'll also link this resource down below. If you don't know Objective-C, don't fret. Basically on our header here, we can have public APIs and properties in the implementation M file here. In the interface here, we can have internal or private. So I am going to paste that in there. So this is going to be non-atomic copy and we need to specify nullability. Maybe we'll say this, in fact, is nullable. So this, uh, you know, is an optional in the world of Swift. Let's say this block actually returns a UI view controller, sync similar to that. Block name here will be, let's go ahead and call this, um, I don't know, create controller. And then inside of here, we can actually specify the type of our particular uh, parameter. So there we have that. And it's going to yell at me that we're returning this by value. We're actually going to want to return a pointer of this because it is not a primitive type and we want to have the actual instance returned. So you can see already that the fact that, you know, the errors are not that helpful, but especially as this starts to get more complex and you have, you know, generic return types and a bunch of parameters, this gets pretty wild. And you know, maybe it's just me, but 10 years later, I still don't know this, and uh, I'm sure I'm not alone. So you know, going more specific into this, if I wanted to actually uh, assign to this, we see we have our con create controller here, and we can assign this to a block that returns a UI view controller that takes in the actual uh, string. So here you can see if we just hit enter, it actually auto-completed it for us. But if we were to not have that work for whatever reason or a more complex, you know, use case, that website will come in super handy. So here we are going to create a UI view controller and just simply return it. So there is that resource for you in a nutshell. So this is yelling at me because we are an objective C and we still love our semicolons around here. So that's all I've got for you guys today. Super quick video. I'll toss this link down below. Maybe I'll toss the fun one too if, you know, YouTube lets me, doesn't yell at me. Um, once again, drop a like if you're new here, almost a 75k subs. I have a pretty big surprise plan for the trek to 100,000 and, you know, getting verified here and getting that YouTube, uh, you know, what is it called? The YouTube like play button, I guess the plaque for 100k. So stay tuned for that. Appreciate all y'all watching. Thanks again for clicking on the video and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.